This is not the place. I will meet you in the time and place I specified. Goodbye. Good, you've come. I'm sorry to make you wait like this, but what I mean to discuss is very sensitive. It involves treachery. Despite the calm you see around you, the gardens of Issa are on the brink of war, and the question is, which one will it be? There are plans being made to siege this city. The Varani are displeased with the Court of Summer's lack of support for their people, and they wish to overthrow Tatarian and force the remaining Fey to fight. We can prevent this, but we must act now. If saving your people isn't enough, we can pay you as a reward. The Varani cannot stomach Tatarian's neutrality. They believe that his Fey subjects could be convinced to march with us on the battlefield. I believe this as well. But I would never resort to violence. The Varani wish to turn Issa into a military camp. We cannot let that happen. It will ruin all our people have achieved here. Of course, it is the right thing to do. The leader of the plot is the Varani ambassador, Kirna Brenner. Every night, the ambassador strolls Memory Walk, alone. She carries a pair of daggers. Take them. Afterwards, dispose of them. Destroy them. Salvage them. I don't care. Return to me when it is done. She is no politician. She is a warlord and a cruel one. I've heard stories that would make your heart brittle. She was sent here for one reason alone. To bring down Issa. She spends most of her time in the embassy. But in the evenings, she enjoys a leisurely stroll through Memory Walk. Try there after dark. Goodbye. How did I get here? Your Grace. What do you want? Do you have business with the Varani in the Gardens of Issa? If so, then you must speak with me, Kierna Brenner. This is not a life I chose, here in this fetid swamp of a city. I was raised on the sea, an adventurer and warrior. I survived, and that made me what you see before you. She's a disgrace to your people, and I find it hard to believe the Alpha couldn't find a stronger person for such an important position. They don't deserve the breath I waste on them. There are powerful warriors in their ranks, but as a group they share no collective spine. They have no reason to fight. 
I do not enjoy this position, talking instead of fighting, speaking of the enemy instead of facing them, but I have a job to do, and I will do it. You must mean Keen and her cohorts in the embassy. Lapdogs, all of them. They don't appreciate the situation. They don't understand sacrifice. This plot interests you. Listen, Ambassador Keen tries to stop me, but she can only do so while she lives and breathes. You can help me put an end to that. Fine. But you are playing this game for the weaker side. If Keen wants to stop us, she will send someone, and when they come, I will be ready. Well, let us never speak of this again. I don't know you, I don't like you, and I hope I never see you again. Take this gold and these supplies. Such items are hard to come by in wartime. This is where we part. Politics is a dirty business, but it is necessary. One death now can prevent thousands of deaths in the future. <laughs> 